Welcome to the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast. This is DJ and I'll be your host for this week. And we have a very, very, very special guest on the show. But first, this episode is brought to you by Surf Excelmatic Liquid. And we have Parshavi Chopra with us on the show. Parshavi is an India Under-19 World Cup winner. She is a UP Warriors player. And I believe this is her first ever podcast appearance. So Parshvi, welcome to Edges and Sledges. We are delighted you've chosen us to uh, make your podcasting debut. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Parshvi, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. And of course, you are currently involved in the WPL. Uh, you are a UP Warriors player. But I want to start talking about your early days as a cricketer. So we've, we've had... Um, other cricketers that have come and told us about their early days as a cricketer you've had a very interesting journey as a cricketer aapne pehle skating se shuru kiya tha to yes, tell yes. us how did you start playing um, start playing cricket and tell us about your link with yuvraj singh who was also a skater i believe in his early days before becoming an india cricketer himself sir matlab pehle jab cricket se pehle maine skating kari thi kafi skating matlab maine shuru se hi mujhe sports ka shauk tha काफी रेस वगैरह का सब चीज का तो मैंने स्केटिंग करी थी फिर जब मैं मतलब 10 साल की थी तब मैंने पहली बार क्रिकेट खेलना स्टार्ट करा था क्योंकि मेरी फैमिली को क्रिकेट काफी पसंद है मतलब मेरी फैमिली ऐसे सेलिब्रेट करते हैं क्रिकेट जैसे एज अ फेस्टिवल हो तो और जो मेरे दादाजी हैं वो भी मतलब खेलते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी से काफी खेले तो मतलब मेरी फैमिली का एक ड्रीम था कि मतलब मैं क्रिकेट खेलूँ और फिर इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट करूँ तो इसलिए मैंने क्रिकेट स्टार्ट करा था Amazing, amazing. So, हम, हमने तो सुना है कि आप लड़कों के साथ बहुत क्रिकेट खेलते थे आपको तो पता भी नहीं था कि लड़कियों की टीम होती है तो हाउ डिड यू गेट इन्वॉल्व विदेंस क्रिकेट टीम आपने स्कूल में टीम बनवाई क्या क्या किया आपने वॉट वॉज द इन्वॉल्वमेंट नहीं मुझे तो मतलब शुरू से ऐसा ही पता था कि बॉयज की टीम होती है क्रिकेट की पहले पता भी नहीं था कि मतलब वुमेन्स की भी टीम होती है तो जो मेरे कोच है विशाल भाटिया सर उन्होंने मतलब मुझे एडवाइस दी थी कि ट्रायल देना चाहिए क्रिकेट का तो फिर एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेल्व मैंने पहली बार ट्रायल दिया था फिर उसके बाद मेरा फर्स्ट राउंड में सिलेक्शन नहीं हुआ था जब मैंने पहली बार ट्रायल दिया था तो जब मैंने दोबारा ट्रायल दिया तब मुझे लगा कि हाँ काफी कंपटीशन था तब क्योंकि पहली बार ट्रायल दिया था मतलब पहली बार ऐसे वुमेन्स को देखा था सब ने तो वो भी अलग ही फीलिंग थी मुझे पता नहीं था मुझे लगा था कि बॉयज में खेलना तो बहुत टफ होगा पर जैसे ही वुमेन्स में ट्रायल दिया सबका पता चला फिर दोबारा मैंने ट्रायल दिया था और मेहनत करके आई थी एट द एज ऑफ थर्टीन फिर मैंने सेकेंड बार ट्रायल दिया था तब जाके मेरा सिक्सटीन में सिलेक्शन हुआ था Wow so already you've started telling us about the obstacles of being a a woman cricketer in 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 India now um आपको कभी um और चैलेंजेस का वॉट वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस डू यू फेस एज ए यंग वुमन क्रिकेटर इन इंडिया आई मीन मे बी यू कैन टॉक टू अस अबाउट हाउ डज सोसाइटी परसीव a young woman cricketer growing up and and wanting to play cricket whereas uh, for a long time uh, even the question of having a wpl was um, debated and the, the wpl has only come 2 years ago uh, sir matlab mujhe aisa lagta hai ki ab to women's cricket kafi develop ho gayi hai kyunki har family ab kafi support karti hai women's cricketer ko pehle aisa nahi tha kyunki pehle financially condition bhi logo ki theek nahi thi par ab bhi cricket ne kafi promote kara hai women's cricketer ko kyunki world cups bhi start ho rahe hain अंडर 19 के भी अभी वर्ल्ड कप हुआ था फिर उसके बाद एशिया कप्स भी हो रहे हैं और अब डब्ल्यू तो बहुत बड़ा फॉर्मेट है मतलब वुमेन्स क्रिकेट को प्रमोट करने के लिए जो डब्ल्यू पी एल मैच परफॉर्म करेगा तो उसका चांस है कि आगे इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट कर सकता है सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया रिप्रेजेंटेशन पार्शवी सो मेरे पीछे एक इंडिया की जर्जी टंगी है आपने तो इंडिया की जर्जी पहनी है यू प्लेड for india under 19 you won a world cup under shifali verma we all remember the emotional moments where uh, shifali was giving that interview at the end tell us what it felt like playing that world cup of course your performances were incredible you picked up 4 for 5 against sri lanka in the quarter finals 3 for 20 against new zealand in the semi final and 2 for 13 against england in the in the finals itself now tell us what it felt like putting on that jersey for the very first time and and what it means to be an india under 19 world cup winner to you sir matlab jab bhi aur koi sports agar koi bhi chunta hai cricket se hatke wali koi bhi field chunta hai 
स्पोर्ट्स में तो सबका एक ही ड्रीम होता है कि वो अपनी कंट्री को रिप्रेजेंट करें तो एज ए क्रिकेटर मेरा भी मतलब ड्रीम था कि मैं इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट करूँ और बाकी मतलब वो मोमेंट तो काफी अलग ही होता है जब आप इंडिया की जर्सी पहनते हो इतनी सालों की मेहनत होती है आपकी और जब आपको इंडिया की जर्सी मिलती है जिसके लिए आपने मेहनत करी होती है और वो आप पहनते हो तो वो तो अलग ही मोमेंट होता है और जब आपका मुझे सबसे अच्छा मोमेंट तब लगा था जब हम फील्ड में जाते हैं पहली बार वो ड्रेस में आपकी नेशनल एंथम होती है तो वो तो सबसे बेस्ट मोमेंट होता है आपकी लाइफ का काफी इमोशनल हो गए थे आप जब ने नेशनल एंथम सुना आपने क्राउड भी गा रहा होगा आपके साथ जी बिल्कुल नहीं क्राउड तो ऐसे नहीं गा रहा था क्योंकि हमारा साउथ अफ्रीका में था तो इंडियंस काफी कम थे जी तो हमारा इंडियंस तो हर जगह काफी ज्यादा होते हैं हम हमारे हम जब जाते हैं तब तो नेशनल एंथम जब बजता है तो कुछ और ही नहीं सुनाई देता है जब जय 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 होता है तो बट so superb i mean of course that is an incredible achievement at a very young age you've got a long career ahead of you um but parsha we've already started telling us a little bit about the obstacles of being a woman cricketer now in all our lives we have setbacks right and and in those moments it feels like we are down we feel stuck we feel soiled ke we we can't move past it it that wo wo ऐसे सूखा दाग सा बन जाता है वो वो फील लाइक अ टफ ड्राइड स्टेन दैट यू कांट गेट आउट लाइक नो मैटर व्हाट यू डू इट्स इट्स इरिटेटिंग यू इट्स इन द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड कि ये कैसे निकाले कैसे निकाले कैसे निकाले हैव यू गॉट अ सूखा दाग स्टोरी हैव यू गॉट सम अ स्टोरी वेयर यू फाइंड एन ऑब्स्टिकल एंड व्हाट व्हाट डिड यू डू टू रिमूव दैट दैट टफ ड्राइड स्टेन एंड हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम दैट ऑब्स्टिकल रियली इज इज आई एम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू नो बिकॉज़ you you would face many of them but was there something that lasted longer than others and then how did you get rid of it matlab sir cricketer ki life mein ek aisa phase aata hai ki wo jo chahta wo ho nahi pata hai to mere sath bhi matlab aisa hi hua tha ki jo main chahti thi wo ho nahi pa raha tha mind thoda negative ja raha tha matlab positive aisa nahi lagta tha ki matlab ab ho payega kabhi bhi to fir meri kaam मेरी जो फैमिली है जो कोचेस हैं उन्होंने काफी सपोर्ट करा था मुझे ऐसा नहीं है कि अब क्रिकेट खेला है तो सबकी लाइफ में चैलेंजेस आते हैं आपकी में भी आए हैं तो आपको पॉजिटिव रहना चाहिए फिर मैंने अपनी पहले की परफॉर्मेंसेस देखी काफी जिनसे कि मतलब मैं थोड़ा मेरा थोड़ा मतलब माइंड पॉजिटिव हुआ काफी पॉजिटिविटी आई उससे तो मतलब फैमिली वगैरह ने काफी सपोर्ट करा था मुझे और और 12 साल की उम्र पे तो आपका पहले सिलेक्शन हुआ नहीं था बट एट 13 एक पूरा साल आपने आप आप रुके हैं तो वो वो साल कैसा लगा आपको हाउ डिड इट हाउ वर यू फीलिंग ड्यूरिंग दैट वन फुल ईयर डिड इट फील लाइक इट वाज यू वुड बी एबल टू ओवरकम दैट चैलेंज वुड यू गेट रिड ऑफ दैट दैट दाग बिकॉज़ एक साल का सूखा दाग तो काफी लंबा होता है ना तो व्हेन व्हेन यू गॉट रिड ऑफ इट आल्सो हाउ डिड यू फील मतलब सर जब मैंने पहली बार ट्राज दिया था जब मैं मतलब 12 साल की थी तो तब मेरा सिलेक्शन हुआ नहीं था क्योंकि सबको ऐसा लगता है कि काफी छोटी है क्योंकि अंडर 16 में जब 12 साल का जाकर तो वो काफी छोटा लगता है सबको तो फिर मैंने सोचा था कि मतलब अब काफी अच्छा कम करना है कि ताकि कोई चीज की कभी ना रहे किसी भी उसमें किसी भी फील्ड में तो फिर जब मैंने सोच लिया था कि नेक्स्ट ईयर तो सिलेक्शन मतलब मुझे अपना हंड्रेड परसेंट देना ही है ताकि मेरा सिलेक्शन हो और मैं स्टेट खेलूं तो वो जर्नी मतलब काफी हार्ड थी मेरे लिए क्योंकि तब मुझे इतनी नॉलेज वगैरह भी नहीं थी ज्यादा कुछ पता भी नहीं था तब माइंड मतलब जो मुझे पता था कि मेरी मुझे अपनी स्ट्रेंथ पे खेलना तो मेरी स्ट्रेंथ वही थी तो was greater than the setback just like surf excelmatic removes these type of tough dried yes. stains you were able to overcome that that challenge for over a year mentally physically all of that so that's just a great uh, sukha dag out story right so superb thank you parshavit thank you for sharing that with us yes now obviously our listeners as well are very interested and uh, they lots of them play cricket so we are very pleased to announce a dag wale moment contest so The contest is basically you guys who are all playing cricket, diving around, taking catches, diving into your crease. I mean, we see Instagram reels of people playing uh, 
cricket in in mud and playing cricket in in in, in rivers and all of that so what we want you to do is to send us your pictures where you're wearing those stained jerseys with those sukha dag with the hashtag sukha dag out and tag surf excel india on instagram and tag one tip one hand and at the end of that contest which will announce the winner of on the 15th of april episode during the ipl so tune in then so it's going to run for about a month you will have a chance the lucky winner will have a chance to win surf excel matic liquid and cricket equipment so it's a pretty cool contest so make sure you get your entry in don't forget you need to send us a picture of you wearing those jerseys clothes whatever with those tough dried stains with the hashtag sukha dag out tag surf excel india and tag us on that note um i think we'll take a short break parshvi uh, okay. we are in conversation with uh, parshvi chopra and we'll uh, be back straight after this break to talk more about uh, wpl and what parshvi has been getting up to there so um, we'll also be asking for some predictions because we're recording this on the day of the wpl finals so don't go anywhere we'll be back straight after this break hey dad acche se keri chang any doubt No doubt. इन सूखे दागो के लिए है नया सर्फ एक्सेल मैटिक एस पी पी टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ ये जिद्दी सूखे दाग निकाले पहली बार मशीन में ही हो गया Any doubt. नया सर्फ एक्सेल मैटिक Welcome back from that break and you're still listening to the Edges and Sledges cricket podcast and we're in conversation with Parshvi Chopra India under 19 World Cup winner and UP Warriors leg spinner Parshvi uh I want to talk to you about the WPL because for years we've been talking about having a women's league IPL has been running since 2008 but the wpl is only in its second season now i mean there were some exhibition matches that were played a few years ago but now it is a full fledged league you've got five teams um delhi capitals versus rcb today in the final which i'm very excited as i'm a delhi capitals fan um and of course we had jemmy rodrigues and shikha both on the show earlier so yeah. very very excited hoping that the the girls can get the delhi franchise its very first trophy but tell us what it was like being part of the wpl auction and being picked how what was that feeling because uh, of course it was the first ever auction yeah. so um, how did you how did you react were you following the auction on crick info or crick buzz or tv or how did that how did that go down and where were you and what what was the reaction of your family and and friends and coaches and all of that oh i was at my home only after under 19 world cup i was very excited about wpl because this was the first ever wpl auction and i had practice in my morning only and then i i have seen whole auction so i was very excited when in the first round i got selected to the up my home team your home team yes of course it is your home team and and what is it like sharing a dressing room with i mean kind of legends i'd guess of the women's game like alisa healy right like what is it like do you do end up because there's a pretty special bond between a leg spinner and their wicket keeper right like a wrist spinner and their wicket keeper if you look at kuldeep and ms dhoni or all of the they've got these special bonds right like, how much how much do you interact with the, with the likes of elisa tell us a little bit about the dressing room vibe in 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 uh, the up warriors i think uh, hilly is very supportive captain and very experienced player she is 34 and she is captain of she is captaining currently australia team so i think she is very experienced player so she is very supportive also for me because she thinks i am young and i am young so she supports me while bowling also and and your idol i think i read somewhere growing up was shane warne yeah, yeah of course the great shane warne uh, passed away a, a few years ago very very sad mm-hmm. uh occurrence for for all cricket fans all over the world because i mean we grew up watching him bowl to sachin and he would, they were the only two players involved invited to don bradman's 90th birthday and i mean he's larger than life right so did you model your action a little bit on shane warne when you started because you started like as a fast bowler yeah and then you became a leg spinner 
yeah as a fast bowler started playing cricket and then i have watched shane one videos and then i thought that i would also love to take his bowling so uh, are we going to see a new ball come in <laughs> uh, a flipper or or something new yes yes sir because you developed the googly recently yeah is again what i read uh, are you developing a flipper like the great one yes sir i'm learning variations okay very interesting but of course shane one was not only known for his bowling parshvi and you seem like a, a very nice person but shane one was also known for his sledging <laughs> some of the biggest sledges came from from shane and we are called edges and sledges now edges are good for leg spinners but tell us about a sledging story parshavi uh, whether you were subject to the sledging or whether you were the one doing the sledging are you a big person that does sledging and tell no, tell no. us if if you is there no sledging in the women's game i am very calm at ground i don't sledge but uh, you must be knowing other people that sledge tell us a story of while you've been around maybe somebody sledged somebody and it's been funny so i'll tell you state match story okay i was batting and uh, up need i think up need four runs in many overs i think 10 to 15 overs and we have lost two wickets so uh, i went to batting and one fielder was saying dekho iske to nike ke shoes hai kitne acche lag rahe hain mujhe bhi chahiye aise shoes तो मतलब मैंने इग्नोर मारा फिर एक मतलब लास्ट बॉल थी बॉलर की पहली बॉल तो मैंने डिफेंस कर दी फिर उसके बाद उसने बोला नेक्स्ट बॉल पे मैंने चौका मार दिया तो फिर मैंने उसकी तरफ देखा तो एकदम से नीचे देखने लग गई और फिर बस इतना ही बात बैट से आंसर दिया था मुझे ऐसा लगता है की मतलब अगर कोई भी सिलेक्ट करे तो बैट बॉल से आंसर दो Okay, maybe that's an opportunity for Nike to sponsor that player <laughs> by the sounds of it. No, very cool. Um, so tell us a little bit more about your goals in the next WPL. Of course, you were part of the um, uh, the Cricket Info team of the the first WPL, right? Mm-hmm. So tell us a little bit about what what you want to achieve as the league grows bigger, as you get more experience. What what is the contribution you want to bring to the UP Warriors team in in uh, in next season? because of course they didn't make the the playoffs this year mm-hmm. uh, which you would be disappointed about, about no doubt but w- what is the um, goal for next year jab bhi aisa koi chance wagera mile to main apna 100% do aur team ko jitane mein jitna ho sake main madad karu aur baki to har player ka ye rehta hai ki matlab agar wo agar wo aisa batter khela team mein to orange cap holder bane agar bowler hai to purple cap holder bane to mera bhi yahi rahega ki abhi next सीजन में अगर कभी मुझे मौका मिले तो मैं विकेट्स के लिए जाऊं और बेस्ट बॉलर बनो टीम के वेरी गुड बट आल्सो नाउ वी ओनली टॉक्ड मेनली अबाउट व्हाइट बॉल बिकॉज़ अंडर 19 वर्ल्ड कप इज इज व्हाइट बॉल अब डब्ल्यूपीएल इज व्हाइट बॉल व्हाट आर योर रेड बॉल एस्पिरेशंस पार्शवी बिकॉज़ वी हैव सीन इंडियन वुमेन प्लेइंग टू टेस्ट मैचेस बीटिंग द टू स्ट्रांगेस्ट टीम्स इन द लास्ट 12 मंथ्स इंग्लैंड एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड बीटिंग देम कन्विंसिंगली नाउ What are your red ball aspirations? Do you prefer red ball or white ball cricket? What is what? What do you prefer? White ball cricket, sir. You prefer white ball cricket? Yes. Why well, you find it more exciting? Or... Yes, sir. Okay, interesting. So, um, also red ball cricket is probably fewer opportunities to to play, right? In mm-hmm. in India, I would imagine at the moment. Maybe maybe that will develop o- over yes, over years. So, do you find your game suits white ball cricket more? Yes sir. Okay, interesting. Right and um do you have any advice I suppose for young cricketers that are uh, coming up through the ranks maybe women cricketers maybe men cricketers if you're young um of course you have a lot of things going through your mind should you focus on studies i heard you were very good at studies but you were um, asked to focus on cricket yes. who, who gave you that piece of advice no my family only because I think to ये तो उल्टा हो गया most families will say बेटा पढ़ाई कर लो cricket छोड़ो cricket में time waste कर रहे हो मैं सब पहले ऐसा होता था कि मतलब ऐसा होता ना कि दो चीज का दो चीज का balance रखना काफी tough होता है या तो आप एक ही चीज पर focus कर पाते हो तो ninth 
मतलब एट नाइन्थ के बाद मैंने ज्यादातर अपना सारा फोकस क्रिकेट को ही दे दिया था जब से पता चला था कि अंडर नाइनटीन वर्ल्ड कप आ रहा है तो सारा उसी पे ही ध्यान चला गया था दिन में बहुत ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस होती थी तो पढ़ाई का कम टाइम मिलता एंड तो फिर आपकी एडवाइस क्या है यंग क्रिकेटर को को कुछ कुछ अगर कोई बढ़ते हुए आ रहा है पंद्रह सोलह साल का कोई है तो व्हाट इज योर पीस ऑफ एडवाइस टू देम हाउ डू यू एडवाइस देम टू सक्सीड इन क्रिकेट सर मेरा मतलब मैं एक ही चीज कहूंगी कि ऐसा नहीं है कि मतलब आप क्रिकेट ही चुनो या फिर उसी पे एक अब तो क्रिकेट तो बहुत काफी फेमस हो गया है इंडिया में हर कोई लड़का लड़की क्रिकेट खेल रहे हैं तो मैं ऐसा नहीं कहूंगी कि मतलब तुम क्रिकेट ही चुनो तुम लाइफ में कोई भी चीज चुन रहे हो एक तो आपका एम होना बहुत जरूरी है लाइफ में एक मोटिव होना बहुत जरूरी है भले आपका वो स्टडीज में हो या फिर तो स्पोर्ट्स में हो तो मतलब आपको जो चीज करनी है वो दिल से करो एकदम ऐसा नहीं कि मतलब थोड़ा करा फिर हट गए थोड़ा करा फिर हट गए नहीं जो चीज करनी है उसमें हंड्रेड एफर्ट दो आपका सब कुछ उसी में दो फिर अगर आप एक फील्ड चुन रहे हो अपनी very good and i think that's very sound advice work hard and and focus yes, i think is how i would summarize that awesome parshvi this has been a really really nice chat i, I think you've made a, a smashing podcasting debut mm-hmm. and uh, many thanks to surf excelmatic liquid for making this happen um parshvi again thank you so much for your time um any any final words any uh, do you want to tell people where they can find you do you have social media do you look yes, at sir. social media i don't know no i have Okay. Insta. Okay, so where can people find you and follow you and and uh, okay, what is your handle? <laughs> no, <laughs> she doesn't remember. <laughs> okay, we'll put a link in the show notes, okay, guys. Okay. You can you can go and follow Parshavi there. But uh, yeah, this is the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to Parshavi Chopra. You can follow us because we do know where our Instagram and and Facebook and Twitter handles are. So we're at one tip one hand. That's the number one tip, the number one hand. So uh, come and say hi to us, and of course, don't forget to enter the contest where you can win some cricket equipment. You can win a supply of uh, Surf Excelmatic liquid. All you need to do is to um, send us a picture of you wearing a a jersey with 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 the, the dried stains with the hashtag Sukha Dag Out. and uh you could stand a chance of winning a um a, a prize and of course it the contest will run till uh, 15th of april so we'll announce the winner on 15th of april so get your entries in and uh, yeah this is the edges and sledges cricket podcast wrapping up thank you very much